Welcome back. Thanks so much for being here. We have Elka King and Tom Mahoney, and you guys are dressed up in, in garb. Now, I'm not sure if you are, but I know Tom is. Tom, welcome to the show. Thank you. And Elka, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. You've got a huge flyer here. It says the Twin Lakes Gun Club Appreciation Shoot. Sounds like there's going to be some shooting going on at this event. All day. All day long. Tell us about it. Yeah, I, there's a lot there, so we're going to have to cover quite a bit. We are having a, this is going, this is a benefit shoot to, to, for Wounded Warrior Project. And this is the first time that we are having a benefit shoot at our club, which will involve every discipline on the same day. Um, we have archery, cowboy action, rifle, muzzle loader, um, the, the shotguns, skeet, trap, and sporting clays and pistol and we will all be having matches on that day which is june 30th okay now that's that when you say that i, I get the envision that it's a triathlon where one person <laughs> does all that or is it or is it uh, uh, different events that you can enter it's different events that okay. you can enter um most of the people have favorites that they like to shoot and and yes you you couldn't do all of them on the same day i don't think yeah. <laughs> it would no. be very difficult now where's this going to be it's at Twin Lakes Gun Club. Okay, and where's that located? If you go up Highway 5 North, mm -hmm. there's a sign on County Road 25 uh, that says Twin Lakes Gun Club, turn here and you turn right, and you follow that road a little ways, and there'll be a sign on the left, and you'll turn left there for Twin Lakes Gun Club, and follow that road, I think maybe barely a quarter of a mile, and our entrance is on the left. And so just follow the signs, basically. Yes, it is yeah. paved all North. the way okay. to the entrance to our, our club. Now, do you uh, allow spectators to come out? Yes, this is open to the public. Okay. And we would love yeah. for them to come yeah. and participate. Is there an admission fee? I'm no. sorry, go ahead. Oh, there are, there's no admission fee, and, w and we'd love for them to participate or watch, whichever they okay. would like to do, either well, one. Well, I think I'd like to watch it. That we'd love for you to That sounds pretty interesting. Yeah. Now, let's talk about you, Tom. Now, you're, you're going to do some reenacting, or, well, or, or we're, what, what do you do? Cowboy action shooting is sort of like reenactors on steroids. <laughs> because <laughs> okay. because we use live ammo. You l use live and, ammo, and okay. we shoot at targets. And, and do you have to do you have to have dodge <coughs> techniques when you're out there. No, Would, we do have some you, movement on the stages. But there's no guns pointed at you. No, no, no. Okay. And we shoot at metal targets and okay. with on time. So okay. you, it's. So sort it's of a, like golf, you're shooting against yourself, but it's still a competition. So it's a timed event, and then when they say go, then you shoot one target, the next target? Yes. And we then have you're judged on accuracy, I guess? Yes. You have, you're penalized for misses uh -huh. and also procedurals because the stage Procedurals, did you yes, say? Yes, if you shoot the targets out of order. Oh, okay. We so have you got to shoot here. this one, this one, this one, instead exactly. of this one and We that have one. two pistols, a rifle, and a shotgun. Usually it's ten pistol, ten rifle and four plus shotgun. So you're carrying three, three guns at a time? Yes. Okay. Yeah. How do you carry that rifle? They're, they're staged. Okay, so you pick up the... Yes. Okay. All right, that's cool. Now, is it in a... Um, I guess it's in a, an area where it's set up where the targets are, and is there any, like, uh, Western themes going yes, on there, too? Yes, okay. our venue out there, we have a Western village, and it's called White River. Mm -hmm. and we're the White River Gang, oh part boy. of the Twin Lakes Gun Club. Okay. And uh, we've built it now in the past two, three years, and we, we've got our stages set in the two old western buildings, and you actually shoot out of the buildings. Okay. So it, it, we've got a livery and a general store uh -huh. and, a, and a corral. Okay. But and there's it, no diving through windows and things. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> we're too old for that. I would like to see that, though. <laughs> Well, everyone's welcome, and, and uh, anybody that would like to try their hand at it, uh, the guys, we always believe in the cowboy way. Right. So guns, we will loan the guns and the ammo okay. to anybody that cares to try it. Uh, now, will you loan them live ammo? Or is this yes. A, okay. But you have as, to go through as a... with everything at the gun club, safety is sure. first and foremost. Sure. So we'll uh, have somebody go through with them, right with them, to make sure that Everything is done correctly and uh -huh. it's done in a safe manner. Now, your event, is it going to be all day or is it just going to be a certain time throughout the day? Our start, the Cowboys starts at 9.30 okay. and we'll shoot six stages. And then if we have enough people interested to hanging around, we're going to have a fun shoot in the afternoon. Okay. Which will just be nothing on the clock. It'll just be for fun. And that'll be after lunch, which is provided by the gun club. 
Okay. But uh, that's going to be just one part of it. And yes, the, the yes. other events are going to be throughout the, throughout the day. Now you said you, you've got some skeet, trap, shoot, and sport, sporting, sporting clays. Yes, yeah. all the shotgun sports. And those, they all start at 9 o'clock, but you can go from one from to, one to the, the next. From one to the other. Yes. Yeah. Um, and we have, for pistol, we have an IDPA match in the morning. Uh, that'll be four stages at 9 o'clock. And then in the afternoon, we'll have a USPSA match. Um, IDPA is International Defensive Pistol, and you use you wear a cover garment and you draw from cover, okay. and you you stand behind cover, and there's a scenario. Um, USPSA is a a it's it's faster in that you don't have to shoot things in a certain order. You shoot them as you like. You don't have to use cover. Okay. Um, it's what we call run and gun. Uh, mm -hmm. Both of them are very fun. They're, they're similar, but not, not quite the same at all. So yeah. we're offering both of these so that people who like to do one or the other can come down for one or both. Okay. So is this a competition or is it a sanctioned competition or is it just a fun event? This is not a sanctioned competition for pistol. Um, I believe basically for most of the disciplines it's a club shoot. Okay. Um, but this is a fundraiser basically. Yes, we are doing this to raise money for Wounded Warrior to the gentlemen in our club that are pistol shooters. Um, Mike Wolos and Rich Federson were talking six or seven months ago and they said we should do something for wounded warrior project we've got all these guys coming back yeah and they're they've lived and they've survived it but they yeah. all need so much help and this is the best thing that we can do and i said well let's just not do pistol let's this is something that i know that if everybody in the club yeah. was aware of they'd all want to do it so yeah. we talked to our club which has about 700 members wow and yeah, said cool. are you guys all up for doing a, a match for for everyone, and they said yes. So they said yes if you'll do all the work pulling <laughs> no, it together, right? <laughs> no, they, 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 everyone is being very, very helpful, and I'm. Mm -hmm. This this is the first event this large that we will have, so I hope that it will go well, and we want to have it be mm -hmm. a great event so that we can repeat. So it. is this your first annual? Yes. Okay. And have it, you done it, any Wounded Warrior events before? No, this is our first okay. one. Well, and this ought to be pretty exciting. Yes. And we, the Wounded Warrior um, Project is very helpful. They have a website. Um, you can make donations on their website. Okay. We were able to link our website, which is www.twinlakesgunclub.com, to their website. So if you, if you go to special events on our website and click that, okay. there'll be a spot for Wounded Warrior um, shoot. And you can click there and it will take you to our spot on their website where you can make a donation from the Twin Lakes area. So mm -hmm. people will know that you've donated from Twin Lakes well, and good, yeah. they will send you a receipt for it. So good. even if you can't come out and shoot with us, you can make your donation to mm -hmm. them and it will show up from Twin Lakes. Okay. So now, so these events, uh, they're, they're, uh, for participants, there's going to be some fees, right? Yes. And uh, there's different fees uh, for the skeet trap uh, sporting clays. It's twenty twenty dollars for fifty birds, or shoot all three for fifty dollars. Yes, all three. Uh, yes, that would be all three shotgun ones for yeah. fifty dollars. Um, basically, we doubled our regular fee. Right. And if we're doing multiple ones, like uh, on the shotgun and on the pistol, we we made it a little less if you would shoot both. Okay. So, um, but all of the money that we raise will go to. Wounded Warrior Project. Okay. It's nothing is for the gun club. We are doing this, and we are mm -hmm. taking money from the club to, to pay to put it on, um, but every bit of it is going to the Wounded Warrior Project. Okay. All right. We've had some great folks locally who have offered to match proceeds um, for the different shoots for the different disciplines. So That's good. we good. appreciate all of yeah, them. Yeah, good. Now you gave me a a, a black band. And yes. what's, what's the significance of the black bands? This, these um, Wounded Warrior, when you sign up to do a, a, a fundraiser with them, you they send out some of these, and it's to help you remember what you're mm -hmm. what you're supporting, and to remember all the time that there are guys fighting for us sure. and and yeah. suffering mm -hmm. to help keep our country free and protect people in the world. So. Um, I just wanted to share that we have well, some of yeah, these to you. give Appreciate to the people that. who who come to the to the match. Okay, uh, and again, uh, it's free participation, not free free spectation. If you want to <laughs> be a spectator, if you want to participate, then uh, there's some fees there, and you can choose the different events you can do. I doubt if you can do them all. Yeah, I would. I would it would yeah. be. It would be. That would be an interesting thing if we yeah. could get, run, run someone the through all of them. And then we have a few shooters who who could are capable of shooting yeah. all of them. But uh, yeah, they'd be pretty worn out. And, and all the all the uh, donations 
or tax deductible. Okay. Yeah, so for people that want to know that, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, let people know it's on Saturday, June the 30th. Starts out at 9. Most of these events start at 9 o'clock. Some start at 9.30 or 1.30 or whatever, but they're throughout the day. You've got a black, uh, black powder event, archery event, cowboy action, which uh, you talked about, mm -hmm. uh, pistol uh, and then rifle, and then the ski trap sporting clays. That's all going to be there. Oh, and interesting on the rifle, it's a bingo shoot. And okay. now think what, okay, so it's ten dollars i believe to enter and it's a dollar per card and so you hang your card up at the oh. 50 yard or the 100 yard line yeah. and on the the 50 yard line you can shoot center fire or 22 and then on the 100 yard line you shoot center fire but you're going to need a scope <laughs> and the card is this big oh my gosh 100 yards you say 100 yards <laughs> oh that's 50 a football or 100 field. yards and i and you're supposed to shoot the number that they call so um I think you're going to have to call back and tell us if somebody gets a bingo yes i think that's going to be very interesting to see <laughs> that's funny that's funny okay it's coming up uh, saturday june 30th that's a couple weeks from now and if you need more information we've had their phone number up uh, uh during the pro during the interview here but if you'd like more information you can contact uh, uh, them at the end of the show. We have more information at the end of the show. Thank you all so much for being here. Thank you. I want to know what you do with that knife at the end of the day. Well, you know, they always, when you rode into Dodge City uh -huh. or Tombstone, you had to check your gun. Yeah. But they never said anything about knife. Well, you got to have a knife. Yeah. And this <laughs> is, well, before the Bowie knife, they had what they called an Arkansas toothpick. Uh huh. And that's what. That is an Arkansas <laughs> That looks like a 12 or 13, 14 inch blade yeah. you've got going on there. Yes, sir. That'd go right through me. No, Have you ever picked your teeth with it? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Clean your fingernails? Now, but I mean, you know the cowboy, that was like a tool for him. It opened yeah. his cans. Sure. You know, did first aid. Uh huh. You know, manicure, whatever. I, I can imagine. Yeah. That's right. Now, were you a, were you a uh, cowboy fanatic when you were a young kid? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this here just carries I, over. Just but, carries over. But it's a lot more fun now. I bet it is. Get to shoot real guns. <laughs> yes. You can have all that imagination going on mm -hmm. upside your head there. Yes, sir. Well, it's nice to meet you all. Thanks it's so nice much. nice to meet you. Thank you. And we you. hope your event is very successful. Come back and tell us about it. Thank you very right, much. Thanks. Thank you. We're going to take a break. Uh, we have a lot of time left in the show. we got one more guest to uh, talk about. And we have Brooke Sutton and Jerry Strobel. They're here to talk about free training for the Alzheimer's call givers and family members. Stay with us. <laughs>